All right, what is up, everybody? Bell Rock here. Just show you guys some turtles. Wait, I went seven rounds. That was a mistake. <laughs> All right, this is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Tournament Fighters for the Sega Genesis. These these two settings are the most crucial, highest difficulty. Only one round. The timer doesn't matter, but you really want to have it on just for authenticity's sake. Continue set up to seven, just in case I need to do like practice run or practice against Karai or whatever. So we'll go right into one player. And here we have all these characters, most of which people will recognize. Sisyphus was never used again. Everybody knows the turtles. Casey who's in the movies. Ray Filet made some appearances here and there, but everybody knows Casey and April along with these four goons. And April easily being the best character on the screen is the one we'll be picking. Go ahead and give us start off with Leo, because we always start with Leo, because he's right there. Hover over his fireball, drop him with an elbow, three suplexes later, that's the fight. And on the surface, that's how pretty much all of them are going to go. Variables will apply, of course, but we've got a little bit of wiggle room to work with, because April just has a lot of different tools, and she has a lot of things in her disposal in which to deal with things like this. That's unfortunate. There we go. What? Okay. Fortunate on the drop there, but we still recovered. Against the pre-boss characters, you're able to recover to some degree. Some of them can punish you pretty hard. Casey tends to let you have it. Get over the fireball there. Drop them like a bad habit. And Mike's one of four pre-boss characters that tends to not provide too many problems. Leo, Mike, Don, and Ray Filet all tend to do what they try to do and just get stuffed for it and they die. Casey's one of the harder ones, though. That's unfortunate. That's really unfortunate. Right now. Oh, just blew himself up. Okay. I'll take that as good RNG if the rest of the run goes well. Sometimes he puts the bomb down and he just eats all the damage himself, and it's funny. Could be a funny thing to see during, like, you know, a live run or something. It'd be hilarious. Here's Don. He didn't do the fireball. Interesting. He normally does. Drop some suplexes. Hand out some knowledge. Free of charge. I like how the perfect screen really doesn't last that long. I'll just say it's outstanding and it takes all of, like, a little bit less than a second. Ray Filet. You have a lot of wiggle room to go over his fireball, which is nice. I guess fireball has extremely slow startup, so sometimes if it comes out and, and you let it emerge before you touch him, it can hit you. But if it's not close enough, it won't touch you, which is nice. Raph tends to, Raph's the only turtle that tends to cause issues because he has a really good fireball. It just beats elbow straight. He decides to throw it. Drop him like a bad habit. Alright, I think that's going to leave Sisyphus for the end. We'll go ahead and get him out of the way. Didn't do the projectile, very lucky. You don't want Sisyphus doing his fireball because it trades with elbow, and then it just puts you back to square one. Then he can get up and do another one, and then that one's going to beat yours because he's going to recover faster. It's not what you want to see happen, but that's the brakes. Some characters got to be landmines, you know? All right, beats Blanca Ball straight, which is nice. That's one boss character down. Triceraton can be pretty difficult. If he grabs you, you're losing anywhere between 70 to 80% of your health, unless you're just insanely good at mashing out. I can't get it consistently. But it can happen every now and then. He just has really aggressive attacks otherwise. Krang's mostly a zoner. High and low fireballs. Fortunately for us, he jumps. Dropped him on his head three times, and that's going to do that. Oh, yeah. Good stuff, though. Good stuff. 
That'll take us into our last boss, who's easily the most consistent run killer that we see. Mr. Karai. The fireball is insanely good. Let's see what we can do here. Alright. So we got her. She has so many strong attacks against you. Her her low kick that she was trying to do goes directly underneath elbow and just beats it clean. The only move she can do at the start of the round that we just beat up, beat straight up is a wheel kick, which you always want her to do, but I've only seen it, I think, once ever, and that was during my world record run. <clears throat> we got her this time, though. You just don't want her to block anything and then throw you, because her throw, A, does entirely too much damage, and B, has too much range. It beats out a very large majority of the things you're able to do. But here we have the ending. This is, I think, the only difficulty where you can get the true ending, which shows them rescuing Splinter. And, you know, it's, a, it's a happy ending. Everybody has a good day. It's a cool looking photo with cool colors. And despite the fact that the game is supposed to be all about the Ninja Turtles, none of them are really worth playing in this game, at least not when you're playing it like this. Still, it's a fun run, it's a short run. It's a cool one to sit down and watch, or just mess around with, because the execution's pretty simple. It's more about the reads than the execution. Or just the... More so the retaliation of getting out of the things that can and will hit you. Anyway, for those interested, I actually did play this on a 3-button controller, not a 6-button. Personally, me, I tend to get better rotation for special moves, things like special moves, on the 3-button controller for this system. <laughs> Mileage may vary there. Not really sure if there's a whole lot else to say. You got it's just it's a turtles fighting game. It's there's plenty to see, plenty to look through, and just all kinds of cool tech. Hope you guys enjoyed that, and thanks for watching.